Welcome to White Boy Radio. The video you're about to view is a parody. A parody made from an exploiter. What we do over here on White Boy Radio team, White Boy Radio, is exploit the exploiters. We bully the bullies. Are you getting bullied? Are you a product of cyber harassment? Are you being victimized? Contact me. White Boy Lockdown Radio at Yahoo. I'll try to get to the bottom of it. I can't save the world. One thing I don't like is bullies and exploiters. So please, feel free to contact me. And always remember, don't be the parody. Enjoy. What's happening, people? White Boy Radio back with another one. Look, before I even say anything, you see the title? Hey, look, man, if if I understand and I always say, if you subscribe to who you want to subscribe to. So if, this ha if you happen to be subscribed to Josh, then just don't comment. I don't want to lose your support. But hey, look, man. Uh, I don't want to be on sh the shenanigans side of, of not calling out what is on display for us all. And furthermore, there's a more important message behind it. Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Josh fell for the old 1986 trick. Uh, the old, uh, let's get close to the subscriber trick. Um, hey, man. Um, and look, Josh, this is me talking to you without me talking to you. Because the only time I talk to you was when I first came over to the true crime genre. And I don't go on nobody's panel, but I did a panel on Doug, Doug 2.0, his second panel. And then I left the panel because I had to pick my kid up. So then I came back and tried to jump in the panel, but what, what did my dumbass do? I went in Lab 2.0. And I said something like, oh yeah, and it was the, the, the Molly file. I said something about, hey, yeah, Molly's a skank. And then Josh proceeded to give me a lecture about Molly and why I should have came in his chat like this. Isn't it funny how the world works? Now I'm giving you a lecture about how to be faithful. Because Mr. Perfect himself, there's a two hour recording from a sub he ripped off. And by the way, dude, you're spending 9,000 on two ounces of bud? Hypothetically, I might be able to get them for 800 a piece. Holler at your boy, but I'm just saying. Now, Josh went down, the, the, Josh hit up the sub and hit her for the, the old extortion piece, if you will. Now, I'm just saying any subscribers out there that may or willing want to pay a mortgage payment of mine, even though I never ask, uh, hey man, I, uh, I have problems, man. Um, my dog needs to be neutered and, uh, you know, the Pac-Man machine just, it broke. So I need something on the cash app, man. 700 times four will work. You know, this is kind of comical because the dude has a girlfriend and this is why I want to do it. It also, it also gives me a perfect message how not to be Josh. But I've been doing how not to be Josh since I've been on the internet. You can just ask my wife. And for the record, I love my wife. And I also love when supporters contact me and I have their support. But for just because I don't say it, don't think for one second when there is a message of how I should do a video turns into titties. I'm not saying, Noel, there's titties on Twitter. Noel, I got titties on Instagram. That's how it goes, people. That's how it goes. And if, if you've really paid attention or if you've really made it to the level of contacting me if, after the email and after the DM, if it comes to the phone number piece, there's only a less than a handful of you that have it. Less than a handful. And if you try to go to email, DM to Matt's phone, or you attempt to ask for it before said titties get said, and I report titties every single time. But if, if we come to the relationship where we exceed DM the phone number, we follow lead and what does matt do call noel so this type of thing never happens x no my friend josh decided to take it his own way around and i won't be too hard on him but yeah like a real dick the time that i made a mistake and maybe this is your mistake but i don't think so this two-hour live which was a personal phone call, I understand that. At the end of the day, bro, you were doing the ugly cry. You were doing the ugly cry. 
I'm so, 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 so sorry. And come on, bro. Even furthermore, you rock with Benjamin Keys. A big scumbag. You are you are the dude who got doxxed, information let out, and you folded, bro. Oh, I just want to be cool with him so we can stop. No, that's a sissy in my book. Straight sissy. You would not stand up to him. And you folded. But you proceed to run game on a woman for money. What kind of buster shit is that, bro? What kind of buster shit is that? It's buster shit. You will never find a subscriber in the history of the internet with a recorded conversation of me doing sexual relations and or scamming for money. Because the day that comes, I'll delete this motherfucker before I look like him or do the ugly thing. <laughs> Come on, bro. You whack like this though, bro. For a long time, I made a simple mistake of jumping in your thing. I made a mistake. You give me a lecture. So how does it feel to be on this side of things? Probably real low. But I know that you've been real low as of lately because you act real high on that pedestal, that YouTube ego, if you will. It's been coming a long time. This, this two-hour phone call thing that's leaked, the scamming of the setup, this cheating on the girlfriend, this hitting on her, all, all this crazy shit. That's just the one thing. People are, are there's an apology post and stuff, but I do kind of feel a little bad for you because it's like, I feel like you're getting ganged on, but hey, maybe there's meaning for it behind it. I don't know. All I know is you are a perfect example of how this platform changes people. You got a good woman and while she's sleeping, you're texting this one a million times. Now the comments, as of I'm making this video, your minions overlook that. They're, they're, it's wrong for that video to be. I mean, you can't deny the voice. You can't argue that. But I have a problem with you, you doing this to your wife. That's your girl. She's trusting you to have a, to have a channel and keep it 100 with her. But what you do is you're running game on her, scamming this lady, and who knows? I bet you, you didn't report the Titter Twitties, the, 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 the Titter, the Twitter tits. I bet you, you didn't report the Instagram tits. You better ask somebody and don't you dare. I don't want no Titter Twitties. I can't even say the word. I don't want no Twitter tits and no Instagram tits because they get reported ASAP. Wow, well, there's tits on Twitter. Let's not forget, I had access to every app you have. You got to keep it real, man. You got to keep it real. You can't go on the internet preaching to people, being better to people, and you shit not on, on faithfulness. That's what's lacking in our country and as individuals and families. The nuclear family is important. Man. Bro, you scam this lady, cheat on your people, and apologize and everything else. But when there was a man applying pressure to you, you fold it. I said, I, I, I'll just go with it. I'll just go with it. I, I hate dudes like that. You're scared of a man, but you'll do women any type of way. Why don't you do that man like that when he was in your face giving you pressure? Because you're a bitch. You're a bitch. If you would let him do that on the internet, in prison, if there was somebody applying pressure to you, just take it. Hurry up. Just don't tell anybody. How a dude you are, bro. How a dude you are. But now the woman's wrong? Nah, bro. Nah. You ain't a man of my book, bro. You just like the rest of them, dude. Just like the rest of them. On the internet, looking out for missing kids. Possibly dead kids. And at the end of the day, you're a living scumbag. I have no respect for you, dude. I have no respect for you. I'm out, man. My, I've been to prison. I've been truthful about my past. 
Never, no one's popped this, this, this butt berry, this berry, never. Titties get reported ASAP. I'm on the internet as Matt. I'm on, I'm on the internet as a dad and I'm on the internet as a faithful husband. That's what I want to say on the wrap of this one. And man, I've cried on the internet, but you will never catch me ugly crying to somebody I scammed. I'll leave it at that. Till the next one, man. White Boy Radio. And hey, man, stay real. And to my faithful men out there, I salute you.